Where are your blind spots as a business owner? Have you been thinking about that? This is something that I've been pondering, I've been thinking about, and I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts. And when it comes to our blind spots, you will not see a blind spot, sadly, because you're blind to it. You don't see that spot, that it is visible to someone else and it is invisible to you. You don't see it. That's why it's called a blind spot, what have you. We could go through this analogy, of course, but you will not notice that which you need to notice unless either someone points it out to you or you're intentional about sitting and really pondering about that. Uh, which is what we're going to do a little bit today. Third is in a reactive mode. You keep seeing a consistent pattern of issues and problems associated with something that turns out to be your blind spot. That's why you keep not seeing it. You have issues, you're losing money in that particular aspect until you figure it out, until you connect the dots and see what's right in front of you. So today I want to share with you three possible blind spots that you may have in the restaurant biz, uh, industry. You may or may not have. So let's chat about it. Let's talk about it. The first one is cash management. This is a common thing. Cash management, restaurants losing money, thieves. It's just so easy for somebody to put a $20 bill in their pocket or money out of the tip jar or what have you. You and I in the restaurant industry, if you're a manager or, or you're the owner, we see a lot of money. And I always say that in the restaurant industry, we make a lot of money. And we also spend a lot of money. Our people don't know that. Our people think that we are sitting in a pool of money and swimming in it. They don't see the cost. And that's why I'm very open about we need to make sure if people are seeing sale data, they can see your sales data. They may not be able to, you know, your servers or what have you. They can see the full, they can do the math. They can see what your average ticket, they can see how many tickets you're processing. It's written on your order number per day, right? They can see how many orders you're processing. It's a basic math of multiplication to see how much you're making in a day, in a week, and a month. If they do not know how much you're paying for your rent, for your labor, for all the fees, for all the bills, all the things. They're thinking that you make so much money and what's the harm in 20 bucks here and there or that $100 bill. And if you are blind to that cash management system that you need to have in place, then you, that's, that's a vulnerability you and I have, and that's a blind spot. So here's my question to you. When was the last time you assessed your cash management system? How do you have your checks and balances? Now we can go really deep into this. And my husband, Matt's the one who handles this aspect and what's our cash management system. And, but some of the things we do is record keeping. So we do have a logbook feature, which we talk about a lot on the show, but in the logbook, who makes the deposit, who counted the register, which register and the exact dollar amount goes in there in the logbook, the morning crew, when they come in, the manager counts the register again, all of the tilts and what have you and documents their name and who counted it, who made the deposit. So that's one aspect because record keeping will make sure that we have a paper trail per se to, in, to conduct an investigation when the time comes to conduct an investigation. And so that's one. Then, you know, the money, for example, somebody's going to sell $535 is the cash deposit that needs to be going deposited into the bank, uh, the cash drop. And the bank counts that money, of course, and if there is money missing their record, how, you know, they will record how much the money was deposited. Our bookkeeper checks the cash deposit every single day. How much was deposited? Does that match the POS saying how much should have been deposited? And was that actual or not? And somebody is watching that on a daily basis. Your cash is everything. We have a lot to pay for. You have so many expenses. Having a proper cash management system is worth your time and your effort. So that was that. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have a proper cash management system? Do you think you have some blind spots there that people could easily take advantage of you? Because we have had it, we still have it, and we're not as rigid about it as we could be. And so this is the stuff I'm thinking about sharing them with you. The second thing is product management. Yes, we do inventory. Yes, we do food caught, you know, um, all the things when they do prep par levels, they check how much of what we have and all the things. But if a bag of bacon 
decides to walk out back uh, from the back door, are we actually going to notice it or really not, right? If a block of mozzarella cheese walks out the door, will we know or will we not? I'm asking you that question. If a pack, I don't know what kind of a restaurant you have, but a bag of two bags of ground beef or chicken or something, if it was to walk out from your back door, will you notice it? How will you notice it? Do you have checks and balances in place that systematically those issues are caught or not. Thoughts on that? Product management and having systems in place. Last but not least is your discounts and promo codes because that can get very out of hand. If you have like oh, a birthday thing, promo code, you may have a marketing comp, which is what we do have that comps the whole ticket. You can have required manager code, but still your, you know that, right? Your servers, your staff, they can find out what that manager code is and really easily apply a discount for their own food a friend or a family member stops by they could get, they could give them that your 30 percent employee discount to anybody how are you tracking those things are you actually checking on your on your discounts who's issuing those discounts are you seeing a pattern is there a blind spot that you have that you need to identify and stop that leak because we we did have that in multiple ways it's happened in the last few weeks staffing that misuse the promo codes and the discounts customers that misuse the promo codes and the discounts and uh, it's you and i's job to identify those things and close the gap close those leaks those are our weaknesses and vulnerabilities now if we allow them to continue to be our blind spots that's on you and me you know what i'm saying such a fun conversation today huh don't you love tuning into this episode of making no show talking about sexy stuff in the restaurant business all the crazy stuff. So sharing with you our blind spots, things that we're working on and identifying what are the systems we need to put in place for these issues to systematically get caught before they get out of hand. Issues will always happen. People will steal. People will cheat. People will lie. This is the world we live on planet Earth. It's on you and me to have system in place and checks and balances to catch these issues before they get out of hand. I have a couple of other episodes where I share about the unseasoned truth about some of the stuff we've discovered, you know, again, the cash management, I told you somebody's selling vouchers, a staff member, or, you know, money, uh, walking out the door or missing products. I will try to put them down in the description below for you. So you can see the truth of some of the issues we deal with. Let me know your thoughts. What are some of your blind spots? Have you thought about those things? What have you been learning and discovering in the last few weeks? about those things and share them with all of us. If you're tuning in on YouTube, I would love to hear it on the comment section. And if you're on the podcast, be sure to subscribe and leave us a review. And with that, clearly we got to get back to work and make some dough. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.